<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Trail Live. I'm JB Benna. Hey, I'm Jen Benna, and we have a special guest, Asher Benna, hosting his first Trail Live. Asher is three months, like this week. Yeah. Welcome, Asher. Yeah, welcome to Trail Live. Yeah, hi guys. So, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy few uh, months here, and uh, we apologize for not getting any new shows. I've actually recorded quite a few, we just haven't been able to get them out uh, because of this new little one. And then also, just uh, finishing up our film, The Long Haul, John Muir Trail, which just premiered in San Francisco last Friday. Uh, and I think it went pretty well. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was, it was fun. And I don't know, it's a shorter version of a film for us, 35 minutes, but it, um, it was so much fun to make and to be a part of that film. And I think a lot of people have ideas of what the John Muir Trail you know, is, and, and then you see that film and you watch people like Hal and Mike go after it and it was great. It just, uh, it's an inspiring film. So good job, JV. Thanks to you too and everyone else that helped on it. We worked pretty, pretty hard there towards the end, 80 hours straight, no sleep and, uh, rolled into the theater in San Francisco sports basement and had a good showing about 250 people and the film will be screening in Los Angeles this weekend. And, um, in a few other places, but if you haven't gotten a screening scheduled in your area, definitely uh, contact us and get one scheduled and host a fundraiser or just get your friends together, whatever you want to do, and uh, we'd appreciate the support. Uh, and then, um, I don't know, what else has been going on? The lottery just happened last weekend. It was, uh, it was a wacky lottery weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh, Anna Frost get into Hard Rock. and Tony Krupichka got into Hard Rock. Those are some of the big names. And then... Yeah. Um, not, West, not too many elites got into the Western States lottery. I think it's all going to be in the Montreal Ultra Cups, which started up uh, Bandera in Texas in January. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah. And then... Um, I don't know, semi-recently, I guess, Max King's amazing performance at uh, the World 100Ks, yeah. and it's like a new American record, right? Yeah, six hours, 27 minutes, and uh, he bested uh, quite an old record by a few minutes, but I mean, if you put that into perspective, six six fourteen pace for 62 miles, I think they were running on like pavers or something, which yeah, that's I think injured quite a few people, to be honest, but congratulations, Max, that was amazing. Absolutely. Oh, and later in the episode, uh, Jen actually had an opportunity to interview Carly Kerner, uh, Hal Kerner's wife, who uh, is an ultra runner and uh, just got second place at Pine de Palm. Uh, and she is also a new mom. And uh, they t chat a little bit about uh, what it's like to run through a pregnancy and uh, and run as a, as a mom. And uh, some very interesting uh, insight, even if you aren't a mom or uh, even a woman, it's definitely very interesting. So stick around for that. And then uh, right after the premiere uh, of the long haul, the next morning, we woke up very early and got to watch the uh, the North Face Endurance Challenge uh, out in San Francisco, the championships, and that was pretty incredible. I mean, it's incredible. I don't think I've ever seen. I mean, even the competitors uh, were saying, you know, through the first like 20 miles, there was like 20, 30 people all running like it was like a peloton six of people 30 pace you know? yeah. yeah congrats to my teammates magda boulet and sage Canada. they ran out of their minds that was amazing yeah and we had actually had a you know some somehow we had the wherewithal after the premiere and not sleeping to uh, uh get a few people out there to, to film the race so we did a little race recap which uh you'll see here in a second and uh Probably not on the level of some of the previous ones that we've done, just because we were all sleep deprived and uh, a little out of it and not really thinking too clearly. But nonetheless, some great footage and uh, a great race, so hopefully you enjoy that. I spent the last 15 years racing mostly on roads and on the track. I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I have an opportunity to explore something very new. Most of the trail races are in just epic locations. I like that it has a lot of climbing and that it is a trail race, but it's super fast and so it's accessible to a lot of different types of runners. Last year I finished my first ultra race and wasn't really expecting to do more than that and this year I was actually just hoping to finish up one more time. This race has always been a, a focus of my year because the competition is just so stacked and there's so much prize money and uh, I just really want to run well here. When I was going to bed before the race, it was just pouring down rain, and I'd seen that they got more rain here than they had all year. We're all fit, we're all rested, and we're all psyched. <laughs> and so you run fast. 
This race always goes out hard, but this was crazy today. Like 10 miles in, there was a pack of like 30 people within a minute of each other. So we were running 640 pace probably per mile average. It was, it was un unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that in a race like this. The whole day was so unpredictable. You know, my strategy kind of changed three times. People were just like sliding, like going skiing. It was still like, 20 people together up to maybe 20 miles. I couldn't believe it. And then at the Pantol 8 station, it seemed like it was just all of a sudden nobody. It felt like I was a little bit ahead of myself. I was questioning my strategy a little bit. At mile 38, I actually got really sick and I started puking. And uh, Dakota caught me on this downhill in the mud and he, uh, he passed me and I tried to follow him and then he had to make a pit stop, so then I, I passed him back going into Mirror Beach the second time. Then after that, it was just a slug fest. He was running the climbs a lot better than I was running the downhills. And uh, he pulled ahead. And, and I'm just gonna do my best to try to stay in the lead and hold her off. I mean, she's a great runner, she's a strong runner. Tried to go after Magda, and Magda was running way too strong. Kept to it, and he ran a really good race. He really earned his his position. I tried, I, but by that point it was 40 miles, and I only had so much to give, and I gave it all. It's tough, they're not easy races, but when you race hard, every race is hard. It doesn't matter if you're on the track, on the road, or on the trail. Finished with, with the second place and that suits me fine. My background is mostly in shorter distance races. Ultras just challenge me in a different way. Like I said, being able to run that hard for that long with that kind of competition is a pretty special experience. To win at, at the end of the year at a, a championship style event against uh, a really high competitive field uh, is just really satisfying for me and it's really my ultimate goal. I couldn't really be any happier. It's very special to, you know, to run and look over at the coast to feel so little and you start to appreciate Mother Nature. Here is Carly Kerner and a Hi. special couple of guests. We have oh. Nyla Kerner. Yeah. Hi. Born when, Carly? Um, September 18th last year. So she's oh. just a little over 13, a year. 13 months. Yeah. yeah, 13 months. We're gonna go ahead and give the kids to the husbands and we'll talk by ourselves in just a minute. Okay. We wanted to take this time to uh, have a special girl segment for Trail Live because there's so many questions that you probably get as a woman and as a mom, or both moms, and so, yeah. Yeah. We thought we'd just True. chat a little bit about it. How long have you been doing ultras, Carly? I think maybe like six or seven years. Okay. Yeah. Kind of lumped together. Yep. Got a couple in when I was pregnant, which was sort of a fun treat. Oh, we should talk about that for sure, because yeah. I know that a lot of people I ask me, like, how do you run when you're pregnant? How far can you go? Feel and it out. Totally. To yeah. Each woman is going to yeah. have a completely different pregnancy. So yeah. you, how old's Nyla, for the record? Nyla's 13 months. Okay. And yeah. I have a five-week-old Asher, and then oh. e Eva is four. So we both have kind of like staggered and yeah. gone through this whole thing for quite a while now. Yeah. Talk about being pregnant with Nyla and just okay. your experience running um, with, with being pregnant with, with her. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was some running pregnant, and then there was times where I realized that I just had like a finite amount of energy. Yep. So if it was going to be, if I was running that day, yep. then that might kind of be it. Okay. So it's just a scaling back and feeling it out. And yep. if I didn't want to run for a few weeks, then I didn't. But okay. mostly, like, that's still, like, I wanted to be outside, so I'd hike. Okay. Or you might start a run and feel like you have a goal, because that's sort of, like, the way that we yeah. typically roll. But right. if 
my legs weren't working, then it was just I wasn't going to run. Okay. So a lot of modification, like in the moment to see how it's going to kind of fit Feel. for us that day. Okay, talk about last trimester because a lot of women, okay. I mean, at some point you start hiking and so... Mm-hmm. But do you feel like that affected your shape or fitness? or Because you rolled right into an ultra after yeah. you gave birth. So how did that transition for you? pretty strong. Like, yeah. I think just being out hiking. And at the end, I could actually kind of run. There yeah. was a time in the middle that didn't really work feel well. Good. And so I do remember, like, some pretty steep, powerful hiking. Yes, it's amazing. And then you might just scoot down. And then you, of course, feel like you're getting that, like, yeah. you know, yeah. speed yeah. that you Yeah, that you, that miss. you crave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, I think, I I think I was also trying to kind of shake her out, which (laughs) in hindsight, I suggest maybe not doing that because we kind of have like a pretty stir crazy, yeah, Tasmanian devil situation at times. Beware if you are pregnant with a, your first baby that happens to be a girl. Yeah. Eva and I are exactly the same. You might not want to run so much. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But I remember... Um, I was running Miwok and pumping, pumping and oh, running. Oh, yeah. So- and, and I had a really, like, vivid memory of that when I was going into it, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. pump and dump. Yeah. You like, do it on a climb. You do it on a climb. Keep the people behind you, behind you. That's right. And, like, maybe warn people around you that they might yeah. experience something, something new. Something that... Well, I had... So, at Bryce, yeah. I thought... Because I didn't ever have to pump for... I did a 50K. Okay. Did I do... And I did... No, I think they were all 50Ks. I tried... Zane Gray was supposed to be 50 mile. Oh, right. But no, some of them were longer, yep. you know, because that's a longer race just in general. But I thought, I'm going to need to pump, I'm going to need to pump, and it never happened. Yeah. So you might not need, need to. to. It depends how much you kind of make, yeah. produce. But at Bryce, it was just this this place where I couldn't pump. Yeah. Needed to and couldn't. So there are times where your body's in a different, like it knew it was running and it just... It backs off. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's any hundred you've done that's as painful as labor? I mean, No. no. I agree. No, I mean, I didn't probably finish them. I mean, I think the ones that I didn't finish were really hard. Yeah. And I said, I can pull the plug on this yep. and you can't there. No, that's right. You just ran an awesome race at Pine de Palms. Yeah, thank you. Um, second place woman. You said Pine de Palms. Did I say Pals Palms? Like, tch, 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 maybe. Ooh. So second place yeah, female. thank you. You had the amazing race. Um, it was a good race. It was a fun race. Well, tell us about it a little bit. I mean, I think bit. the advantages for me... Uh, was obvious. It was like running home. It was not yeah. all trail that I knew. Yeah. I knew oh, like 40%. Oh, you stuff? Yeah, a lot. Oh. It was a fun new experience. And I think seeing people that were friendly faces yeah. all day, yep. that is like the biggest high. Yeah. I think if you need to pick me up, you just need somebody that you know yeah, to kind of totally. like snap you back in. So uh, you happen to be married to Hal Kerner. I am. And um, he's <laughs> he is injured right now. Yeah. But you guys for years have gone back and forth with crewing Uh and racing. And so what's your advice for couples in terms of like being um, together on the trail? How do you guys work it out? I mean, it was always Hal's arena for mine. So I felt like um, there came a time where I was kind of done with crewing. And he's so, I mean, he requires nothing really. Right, he's easy. So it was easy for me to to say, if we're going to these things and he doesn't really need me to do anything, then I'm going to run. So it was really great to have races where he might be doing like a 50 mile option and I would do like the 50K yeah. to get me yeah. really into it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think that that was kind of like our rule of thumb if we didn't, yeah. if we didn't really want to be on the crew. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Team, we but would now, just jump in. With now Nyla, you, have to you have to take turns. Do that yeah. or, or bring in some. Well, family I, Jamie and I realized quickly, two of us cannot run 100 with a child. No, because it's not the race. It's the race the after, is the one thing. It's, it's right after that. So what's on the um, calendar for you coming up this year, 2015? Um, what do you think? Things. Yeah, I'm going to do Orcas Island 50K again. Okay. It's close to home and yeah. it's, a, it's a blast. You get out on the island and it's just kind of a fun vacation. Okay. Um, and Zane Gray again. Oh, fun. Close okay. to family. Okay. Hot. I love hot. I do too. Maybe mi- Pine of Palm again. Maybe Pine of Palm. 100 mile oh, wish list. It's so easy. It's it just is. right there. It's right there. Okay, yeah. trivia. Okay. Oh, I don't know. How, beard or no beard? What are we thinking? I'm thinking I want a mid beard. I want a tweener. We talked about this. I think the skinnier you get, the bigger the beard gets on the trail. <laughs> so as you get thinner, I feel like the man gets the beard a little what bit is out that? there. Yeah. No. Yeah. You need to take it back a little bit. A little bit. bit. Guys, I think it might be time. It's time to take the beard down. down. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Thank you for coming. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned.
We'll be back with the next episode. I don't know what. Uh, Keep your sports bras on and your breast pumps handy. Trail (laughs) live.